as uh, the co-author of the uh, Wasp LLM Top 10. Um, you know, we are all now realizing that there is risk involved in using uh, AI, uh, both as a coding tool and uh, within our applications. Tell us a little bit about the OWASP LLM Top 10. Uh, maybe pull out a couple of the key uh, risks that we really ought to be worrying about. So OWASP has like multiple projects which are focused on AI. And LLM Top 10 was probably the first project that started focusing on the AI adoption, safety and security. The top one that always stands out is your prompt injection, right? The prompt injection is and will probably continue to be the top one for the years to come, right? Because that's an area which is very difficult to actually solve because in the age of multimodal application that you're living in, right? The prompt injection is, is fairly complicated itself. But one of the things that I find very, very challenging for organization is the apparent like technical debt to increase multifold because the code that is being generated may not be the best performant code or it might not be the, the most secure code, right? If you're not doing anything at the ID level, catching all at least 90% of the issues upfront, I think the technical debt is definitely going to increase. The so. I think that one of the best analogies I've found uh, on how to think about AI is that of an amplifier of your kind of your team behavior, good and bad. And so even when it comes, I think to your, to your posture towards uh, these kind of themes, uh, security and compliance, uh, I think it really, the way you look at AI really depends on how you looked at this even before that, uh, if you were reckless before chances are AI is going to make you even more reckless and it's not going to fix this.